Hello everybody, Kieran here with Exploraminate, and welcome back to Ash of Redemption. So, we left off, we had a really good fight, but my golly, there is some rather less than ideal circumstances we find ourselves at. So, let's talk to the survivor here, let's see what he has to say. Hmm, look at that, I got the monk! Alright, wait, you mustn't. Abominations corrupted the sacred stone, and now it only brings death. I saw people dying after touching the mentor. The last captives were forced onto the stone by the Ensis. Ooh, that's crazy. Curses, that's why they soaked it in blood. The witchery. Pieces of crap, thanks for the warning. And I was wondering why in Termium you're just sitting there, giving no thanks or anything for being saved. Honestly, I can't even stand straight. I've already given up hope, but I'm really grateful. The name's... Vi, I am a wandering monk, and I'll be praying to the gods on your behalf in every temple in Burkhan. My name is Thorn, Thorn Brennan. I'm a retired captain of the guard. You'll meet the others later. Tell me what happened here before you get back to praying. Um, let's see. Why did they leave you alive? That's a good question. The abominations didn't kill all the villagers at once. Some were kidnapped and forced to dig a mass grave, until it was their turn. The men here were showered in their blood. I'm the only one left. Why did they need a grave? They never buried people they killed behind the bridge. I don't know. I think they just wanted to torture us as long as they could. They made it as painful and horrifying as possible. Those fiends slaughtering and torturing so many people in a single day. And the grave will have to be used, it, I'm afraid. Any marks on your neck? Let's check that. So, this plague's gotten you, too. Let me tell you something. You know those rare gems called Strixes? They fight off the corruption. They eventually burn out, though. We've heard about it already, but thanks. So, how did you come across the Strixes and learn of their properties? I mean, I meant to meet the abbot in one of the temple libraries. Then a scroll about the reaping caught my eye. Normally, no one reads them. I mean, it's just legend and i've got a strix in my beads an old tradition that is all of us wandering monks need to wear them that's a pretty handy tradition there Vi, you're the luckiest person i've met the gods must be keeping you alive for some higher purpose you've already told me everything so what are you up to now we'll just try another man here the ncs couldn't have smeared all of them with blood could they there's a man here on the way to ursus the little stockade around it. Perhaps a watchman there will be able to beat back the Ensis. Let me come with you. I've got to go to the temple nurses and tell them, uh, tell the abbot about what I've seen. At least I won't be lonely for half the way if I join your company. Well, I can't just leave you alone, can I? Just know that you must obey my every order without question if you wish to stay with us. By the way, they've left a couple horses. That's nice. Great, we got some more Strixes. This, this dude, I'm not too worried about him, so let's, uh, I guess we do have to worry about him, though. It's kind of cool, you can, like, pan the whole thing here. I, this game is really pretty. I mean, it definitely has that going for it. And this store has actually got me here, but I, I love the artwork. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff, though, so... Let's see how Ramblin's holding up. I know we weren't going to pay attention, but it looks like we might have to to progress the story. So let's put on our pretend like we care hats for a second. <laughs> he says, Dolly. Not even like sadly, he's just like Dolly. Like he's like, oh, I don't care. They killed everyone in my village. Some were thrown into the river and others, you saw the corpses along the road. There are even people from the neighboring hamlets. Why do these jerks do this? <laughs> I don't know. Seems like they were they savor suffering and death. We've purged the place of the abominations, and we'll kill any more we find. My grandmother thought I was a wizard. I was wizard material. She even gave me her amulet. Let me come with you, Thorn. I don't want to be a wizard. I want to be a warrior. That's why I joined the guards. Take the amulet, please. Sure. Why not? There's a Strix in your grandmother's amulet. That explains a lot. Strixes provide some protection from the reaping's curse. So I manage them while we travel together. If you're ready to fight and follow orders, you can come with us. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Let's see. 
Give me some magical cards. Dang, you better give me cards. How did you come by magical cards? <laughs> They're heavy, like lead, and hot to the touch. And you say that you don't want to become a wizard. These cards used to be my grandmother's. I played with them when I was little. She said that if they became heavier, it'd mean that playtime was over and something bad was brewing. I want to give them to you. You're my senior. You should use them. Thanks, tradition. So that's what use they are. You can normally deduce what the card does based on the picture. They're not for wizards, remember? They're for people without special power, so each card is a hint. Using them is easy as pie. Close your fingers around the card and use your will to direct its power. They're useful, no arguing that, but I'm more at ease with my trusty sword. You can't scatter an enemy detachment with a bunch of cards. That's where you're wrong, Thorne. You actually can. Who knows? Yeah, right, he's calling me out. Who knows? I've never used them myself, but it's possible that a card might trump a weapon. But remember, if you give the cards to another person, they can use them too. wonder why that's a hint. Do we have to split up or something? Thank you, but we really need to go. <laughs> Be careful with those cards. Anyone can use them. Sometimes it's better to use a weapon instead of standing around waiting for something magical to happen. Yeah, sometimes it is. If you can cast proper spells, do it. And thank you for the plaques. I have a feeling we'll need them. Well, you can count on me. In my case, there's something odd and evil emanating from the mender. I wouldn't tarry here. Don't die. Everybody, like, died. You watch Ramblin go and notice the commotion near the wounded woman. Gladys stops you as you run up. She's giving birth, Dad. Chase, the all, chase them all off. Let Ramblin do his thing. Seems he's the one who knows what to do. Everyone runs around looking for clean water rags. You didn't even feel this much pressure when commanding an entire squadron. You must have done it pretty easy then. After all the pains, you're finally rewarded with the baby's cry. Glitta frowns deeply at you. The baby's safe, but we couldn't save the mother. She'd been through a lot. I'll go search the watch supply for milk, but we need to find a place for the baby to settle in. We should do it now. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's think. Grave or Watchtower? Hmm, I think we're going to go with the Watchtower. Oh, we're going to fight somebody? That's great. Score health. Okay, so we've got we've got some hurt people. Fisk? We're not. Ooh, Raylan's a Warlock? We're taking you. You're a Cleric? We're taking you. And Brett... Good old Brett, let's level you up. That wasn't the button to get to leveling, was it? Okay, good, it was. Okay, let's level you up so you get more health, energy, walking, plus nine health to the cost of the ability. Oh, I think that's the cost of health, okay. Four... Let's give him some health, maybe? Go. Brett, what do you want to do, buddy? Plus one to attack distance, plus one to damage. I like the distance. Focus. Which is your health by 12. That's not bad. Accuracy or health. Um... Let's take that. We're going to get a little bit extra range on him. Perfect. Give Krieger it. No. Give that to Dad. We don't want him dying. Wow. 28 to heal the party. Oh. Sweet. We got rid of most of the skulls, though. That's probably worth it. Do we have other cards we can go with? Maybe not yet. Okay. I'm thinking we're like supposed to do something here. Okay, deck. Good. Seven. Okay, one fifth. Other oh, these are busted. Bloody harvest. Wow. Okay, that's kind of crazy.
let's take that. I don't think I'm going to use Rancor. I mean, I can see why that would be situational, but... Um, reduce his health, increase his health. Defense. Let's do Touch of Chaos instead. Good. Do we have to level up, maybe, everybody, before it lets us go? You, my friend. Piercing Strike. Let's grab that. Well done. Now let's camp, I guess? No? What, what are we looking for here? What button am I missing? This is embarrassing. What embarrassing. 28? Oh. Mill him? If it's worth it. You decide against burying the bodies that lie on the road. At least all the fallen beside the minera have found a common grave. You have no further business here, so you prepare to head out. You notice Gleda is deep in thought. Before you can speak, Gleda beats you to it. Why haven't you let me on onto the bridge, Dad? Am I a bad fencer, or are you going easy on me during training? You feign surprise, and who else would care for the wounded? Our men aren't exactly a nurturing bunch, I put my trust in you. And judging by how you handled childbirth, I wasn't wrong to do so. As for going easy on you during the training, that's complete and other nonsense. Let's call Brett as a witness. You turn to the lad. He nods agreeably. Lord Brennan never singles anyone out, but he really had it out for you, Gleda. Maybe that's why you're better than most. You can tell that Gleda is shocked by all the praise and decided to seize the moment. Grab your stuff, everyone. The child's going with you. Gleda, there's a square there's a square of NCs prowling about. So get back on the horse quickly. In enemy territory, a campfire gives warmth, mm -hmm. but the cold gives protection. Shadow Clan's coat for warriors of peace. Okay, that is some some deep deep thoughts there. Let's see what what happens when we continue. Year 1002 since divine retribution. Ooh. Spring Equinox. Kingdom of Frisia. The city of Voden. A procession approaches the city. Hundreds, no, thousands, walk to Voden, shackled and closely guarded. This is completely different, but cool. All right, well, let's see if I can not butcher these names. Lo Ping. Lo Ping. You observe the surroundings from a tall rampart. It's your job to foresee any threats, especially those another might overlook. Something menacing is in the air. It might have something to do with the prisoners. You're a bodyguard of the highest rank, a warrior of the Shadow Clan. Your client, Count Helko. Soturo Soturi shows you off like a golden belt buckle. It makes no difference to you. In the end, you're loyal to your clan. The streets are full of gawkers, the city dwellers and villagers who brought their whole families to the festival. However, temple inquisitors, not uh, inerrant entertainers, preside over ceremonies. They offer a special kind of entertainment. There will be executions and torture to commemorate the spring equinox. This time, there will be an astonishing number of victims. The city will drown in blood. We sound like some upstanding people. Interesting. Temple servant, your client is meeting an important temple servant. You should stay close by. He looks like a pretty hefty, awesome looking dude. Is that, a, that is a tattoo. I was like, is that scarring or that's a tattoo? Okay. Commanding the guardsman is a tall temple servant. Many in the crowd whisper his name. Nokoma. Count Pelko Satoru approaches him, arms wide open. Finally you're here. How was the journey, your holiness? What news would you like to rest or begin the festivities immediately? Have you considered my request? Remain impassive. The Count notices your lack of reaction. 
and balls his tiny fist in anger. No need to frown, Count. The Third Legion is already on the march. You should let fate do the work when considering the command of three legions. Other commanders might suffer from falling sicknesses, or their tents could be attacked by bandits. Do you follow me? Does the temple permit such tricks of fortune? And nah, how should I pursue a fate like this? Will the temple advise me? The temple of divine wrath only instills anger, so take my advice. If the Econs are as good as they say, here's your solution. Your bodyguard will do anything you wish. Unless, of course, it's not in his contract. Everyone knows that I have an uh, Econ in my servant, a service. They'll know it was me. Besides, I don't want to lose a bodyguard of his caliber. They say an Econ is worth 50 Frisian warriors. Money-wise, that's certainly true. Your Econ can bring you your three legions more easily than a servant brings a chamber pot. Test him if you doubt him. I like this sort of entertainment. If your bodyguard slays a dozen or two Frisians, guards, I'll turn a blind eye. You're absolutely still. A premonition touches you like a breeze, but your inner peace is undisturbed. You're always ready for whatever happens. Lo Ving, stay here. I need to speak with His Holiness in private. Don't worry, I'll be safe in Nakoma's company. Meanwhile, make sure that everything is in order. Hold on. A satisfied grin brooms across the Count's face. He interrupts your nod as a, as a bow. As a bow, it seems. This day last year, two murderers were tortured to death in the city square. This year brings many more victims. But they look nothing like murderers. Haggard, foul-smelling prisoners are pressed against the wall. The red-haired girl doesn't look traumatized, though. She certainly is. You lose sight of her for a moment as guards drag a scrawny old man from the crowd. More women stand behind the red-haired girl, but she alone watches you. You remain calm and impassive, even when she calls out to you and Elkon. The red-haired girl is definitely not Elkon. If she were, you'd have been forced to abandon your service and save your kin. Nothing else can interfere with your service. To Pelko Surio, who pays you so well. Hey, warrior, my name's Reet. Can you feel what's happening? Isn't it time you remembered your duty? You remain silent. Your inner peace is absolute. I feel like my inner peace is going to be not absolute at some point, but we'll have to see. Open your eyes. That temple warrior is inhuman. It's a reaper in human form. So what? Think of the law of the clan. If a reaping begins, you shall serve your clan only. You should fight a reaper whenever, wherever it appears. The law of the shadow clan binds you to oppose the reaping and reapers. Do you remember your duty? No one understands what the red-haired prisoner is screaming about, but the guardsmen don't dare shut her up. Nokoma's eyes are daggers. She knows something she shouldn't. Still, no one can foretell a reaping. You don't have to believe me, but today is the day. The reaping is coming. How do you know the law? Does it matter who speaks the truth if the truth is spoken? You are too young to lecture me. You are a warrior of peace, aren't you, Alcon? Yes, I can read your face. Look closer at Nakoma and feel life freeze under his feet. He's a reaper brimming with power. I have sight to see this. Aesiris wouldn't let herself be captured. Say, I heard your words. You may think me foolish, but please take extra care. To your clients, you're just fodder like us. You remain silent. The warrior's code of the Shadow Clan prescribes inner calm. Otherwise, you aren't useful. They get substantial sums of money from Count Pelco Surio. Okay, this is pretty awesome where this is going. Um, I didn't expect like to get in more people in here, so. Whatever the disguise you're as, I think it's a pretty cool idea. Whatever the Shadow Clan is. All of the aesthetic and stuff here. This is a pretty vibrant world, so. I mean, kudos to these guys. My goodness. Um, let's, let's keep going for a few minutes here. You turn around to find Nakoma staring at you with a contemptuous grin. He gives a sign 
You hear screams and choicest swear words behind your back. The guards have picked up the girl, Reet, and are carrying her to the dais. The temple servant watches you closely. Hmm. Around here. Let's go wait near our client. You stand beside Pokosuri. He's unfazed by the muffled howls of the prisoners, the grumbling of the crowd, or the smoke from the executioner's brazier. He's almost triumphant, in fact. What will you do, Loping, knowing that a Frisian official plots my death? What if he plans to send assassins after me? You know the answer. I know nothing. There are two officials fighting for command of the Legion, entrusted to me by the temple. They'll be at each other's throats once I'm dead, but that's not exactly comforting, is it? The legions are already on the march, but neither commander has joined them yet. One of them just passed through the Gillian Tunnel. The other is a bit ahead of him. They don't have a large entourage you'll manage. Who will protect you on the way? I'll be perfectly safe while Nekoma, the temple servant, is here. I want to test you first. There's a wench who dares scorn his holiness. The red-haired scum mocked him all the way to Wooden. Kill her. And if I become commander of the three legions, I'll double your pay. For an elk on the client's word is law, even if the client breaks the law. The client's word is law. Okay. Is that the only test? No, but the next one will cost you nothing. When you put the girl out of her misery, the guards will attack. Kill them, too. Several runaway prisoners will add to the confusion, and nobody will blame me for the turmoil. Because they will blame the Shadow Clan? You have nothing to fear, Elkon. If you sort out these officials, I'll have enough power to quell any discontent. You have my word. Dude, this guy's kind of a jerk. I'm not going to kill her. Follow our oath, but like this, I don't know. I shall slay anyone sent to kill you, however many there are, but I'm not an executioner. Well, Akon, remember this. Pelcro Soturo always gets what he wants, regardless of what's written in the contract. You'll see. The Frisians are cunning. They pay the sons of the Shadow Clan handsomely for their service, but easily go back on the word. You expect it. You're ready for them. But as the tortured redhead asked, are you ready for the truth? Silence falls over the square. A spread eagle uh, wrenches. The spread eagle wrenches on the wall, freeze in anticipation of their dreadful fates. The only sounds are the clinking of the executioner's instruments being laid out on the bench, and the flapping of the banners over the burgomaster's head. Watch the prisoners. The prisoners at the foot of the wall can barely stand. Few men and Few men, the very old and very young, remain. The mostly female crowd falls to the ground, horrified at hearing the anguished cries of an old man being tortured coming from the wall. Then the red hair starts to sing. She weaves a temple hymn, making rich and poor alike bare their heads. Her voice peals across the square, resonating as if under a vaulted ceiling. Everyone stands transfixed by the melody, moved to tears, as if searching for something within themselves. I didn't hear it there. The song there in the background. Look for Nakoma. You don't see Nakoma anywhere, but you sense he's nearby. Guardsmen's helmets are removed. Sharp blades are lowered. Prisoners and onlookers weep uncontrollably. You know that a temple service cannot end an execution. It is forbidden. As this thought forms, a reaper appears. Oh, jeez. Something resembling a bloated gray corpse with a greasy black mane emerges from the yard in front of the gate. It moves towards the dais, determined in the song. You draw your sword. Dang straight, we draw our swords. All right, so here we go against the Reaper. This fight is actually, like, really frustrating. Um, maybe I'm just an idiot, but I didn't get it for a little bit, so... Increase my defense by 42 this turn. 
and then do 60 damage to this jerk. There we go. This is going to give me basically no damage this time, I think. It's like a very specific way once you to play it. Thankfully, you get to play it a lot, but it's also just kind of like, ugh. I'm still playing this. I'm uh, not in a bad way, but just like this fight is kind of frustrating. It's kind of frustrating. I mean, maybe I'm just dumb and didn't understand it at first, but I didn't understand it at all. Let's see what this jerk's going to do. Okay. Gonna make all my damage taken as health this turn. And then hit him again, I think. Ah, oh, they're just gonna keep coming at me. That's right, fool. I was way less. Okay, good. Six. I just have to get two more turns. No. Okay, well, he's no energy. It might help keep me alive. I don't know. Nah, this fool's just gonna walk over. So that was a waste of a round. Dang it. Well, maybe not. Hit this jerk one more time. Can he get to me? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna hope he can't get to me. Fingers crossed. Thank goodness. Okay. Okay, increase my defense. Way of the gods. This guy's pretty awesome. New favorite character. Thorn, what's his butt? Can just give up. No, not really. He's a, he's a pretty good character too, but... Haha! You cease to kill me. I will reap you, Reaper. Consider yourself dead. Wow, those guards all followed him though. Like, think about that. Okay. We've got a burning soul. I've got a party of one. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Killed by your blow, the monster turns into a wisp of fog. A sacred strix sits. Set into the steel of your blade, sizzles and burns out. The mystery is solved. This is what made the Reaper vulnerable. A strained weakness washes over you, making you stagger. Did the monster curse you? Your eyes meet Reed's. She began, she's been a hard nut to crack. Two swings of the sword is enough to cut the ropes binding her. The moment you set her free, she rushes to the other prisoners. The rest isn't your responsibility. Your road leads to the Isle of Shadows now, but first you need to overcome the strange weakness. Any generations... Or many generations of warriors live their life knowing that if a reaping comes, they'll have to oppose the reapers. Whoever cuts even one of them down should bring news of it to the Shadow Clan. Your service to Pelco Sudrio has ended. In Thanks, the straight. Of the great disaster, you rush to a backwater town on the edge of a Burkanan kingdom. Hmm. This time, it seems the dice rolling on the game board will be carved out of wood. <laughs> Okay, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end it, so we're just going to end right here before Chapter 3. So that that guy's actually my new favorite character, if I could remember his darn name. Um, yeah, let's see where this goes. I like how this story is not just, like, one group. It's actually different parts of the kingdom. It's kind of cool, but uh, I, I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Hopefully you guys are enjoying watching it. So thanks for the, for the continued views, you know, for hitting us up, for the likes, for everything you guys do. Um, but we'll catch you next time. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get more more Shadow Clan buddies because they're pretty legit. But we'll have to see. Thanks for watching.